Hello, welcome to Scrap Time episode 767. My name is Christine and on today's episode, I'm showing you the latest colors of Luminaire H2Os by Creative Imaginations. Today I'm showing you some new colors of the Twinkling H2Os from Creative Imaginations and Luminart. So here we have the spring colors. Here's the little swatch. There's Buttercup, Chiffon Pink, Plum Blossom. This is Sea Glass, Summer Breeze, and Bashful Blue. You can see what colors they look like here on the uh, little sheet. I'll move these out of the way. And then we have some summer colors. So you can see the summer colors um, have a bit more punch to them. They're not so pastel -y. Here's the thing. So you have Mango Freeze, Just Peachy, uh, Celadon, Sea Spray, Iris Petal, and Royal Satin. And I made these postcards. Um, this one, I used all the colors from the spring collection. And you can see how they work really nicely together in that soft palette. And then I just stamped over with an image, put a little birthday greeting, and then just put one of the colors around just to frame the postcard. And here I did the same thing, but with the summer colors. So it's a lot brighter. Uh, and here, if I show you side by side, you can definitely see spring and summer. But I'm going to show you um, how I do the background, but I'm going to mix the two palettes together. This is a postcard watercolor um, block. This one's from Canson. You can use these or you can buy postcards individually. Um, there's a lot of different ones on the market, but I'm going to use this block today because that's what I recently bought. I like to start with a lighter color depending on what you're doing. So I'm going to start with yellow and I use a lot of yellow because it goes with so many different um, colors. The only color that you may have issues with yellow is um, purple. That's when you might get some of your browns and stuff happening. So I'm just going to put some color over it. I don't have to do the whole thing. This is just showing you how quick you can cover and make a background of a postcard. So now I went to the summer collection to use. It's still a yellow, but a little brighter. And I had previously sprayed the um, H2Os with some water just to get them started. I think I'm going to move into this one. I think it's just peachy. And when I do these, I'm just really randomly doing the color. Okay, I think I'll get into some blues. Even though I used that red, I think I'm going to put down a bit of blue. Let's get some of that darker blue going on. There we go, some nice darker color. And I put it in and I sort of just Blend it through. Need a bit more water on that one. Green. Sometimes you'll find that once you blend it, you lose some of the color. So you can go back and add in more of that darkness if you want the bolder colors in there. Um, okay, even though I had some yellow, I think I'm still going to add a bit of the purple. Okay. 
And you can see I'm just randomly, I'm not putting too much thought into what colors I choose. And I'm just making a background. And that's what's so fun about using these Twinkling H2Os um, is that the colors just blend nicely together and you end up with this really pretty background like this. And now I can either stamp on it, I can add papers to it, I can paint over it, whatever I want to make a fun postcard to send to somebody. So there you go, that's the uh, spring and summer collection of the H2Os. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out my website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you the latest book by Spellbinders. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.